Uh, hello everyone, and this is Dow here with another video, and um, it's been a few weeks now it's, um, since I actually did one. Um, I actually tried to do several though during the few weeks, but I just ended up rambling on, but it's good, I'm probably rambling on in this one as well, and just sort of felt like uh, I'm just going to be bothered doing it again and again and again, and just pretty much getting nowhere. So, the last video I did was the mystery unpacking of the City of Final Fantasy, which was at the start of November, November September. And now we're in the end of November, we're in the 30th of September, the last day of the month. And it's hard to believe another month has, has gone already, and it's just less than three months now until Christmas. So it is, and it's going to be very interesting indeed. So anyway... This is basically a pickups video as usual and probably a few other things as well. Um as I said I've actually picked up these are there's quite a few games here I have since I sort of last spoke to you anyway. Um probably that's prefer that's probably why I just sort of left it so long so I can actually show stuff of what I got and um but anyway let's get going here. First one is it's actually a strategy guide, so it is, um, for a game that I actually want to gonna actually gonna start playing perhaps when I'm off for like nearly about uh, nearly two weeks there at the end of October, so I won't have long to wait now for it. I'm probably starting it perhaps when I have the like the time off, so well, uh, um, and therefore we'll get started into that and probably use this guide for helps and like do the side quests and social links and things like that now. You heard social links, so you, sh you should know what game it is if you've played it. It is, of course, Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4. It's a wee little mini, just mini book of sort of, pretty much it is. The full guide of it. Whoopsie daisy. Um, full guide of it. Um, as I said, I haven't played it yet, so I haven't, I haven't played the Persona 4. I played like the first, not the, the third one, for like a couple of hours. And I don't know. I just didn't like the fact that you had to wait forever for actually to do your first battle because I played it for like maybe an hour before I actually got to do a battle. And I just didn't really play much of it though. I know it's a great game. I heard the fourth one's better, so it is. I heard I heard some people like the I think the th think the fourth one's better. So I was going to try it out and see what's like. I know I heard great things about them that I really have. I know they're supposed to be great games, supposed to be some of the best PS2 games on the system, so they are. So, PS2 could be one of the best like RPGs in the system. And um, so, I'll check that out. Um, these are two games I got yesterday, so I did. Because uh, they were just released last week, so they were here. Um, one of them has been out in the US for a few months, um, quite a while now in the US. It's only was released here last week. Um, not a lot of people probably know what this is. It's um, Cross Edge for the PS3. Um, I never heard of the game until I seen another a person I know from like other states who does. I watch his videos. Um, Davian. Um, I think his username is Davian Gamer ZX. Well, Davian, shout out to you. Um, talked about it, and I think he showed a gameplay video off in one of his videos, and I actually liked. I thought it was pretty, looked pretty interesting though. And we talked about it in a few other videos as well, and it just sort of appealed. It just, it just looked really interesting. So it did. Like the battle system looked kind of appealing. It wasn't. It was just sort of a. Um, it wasn't your usual standard turn based sort of ver though, it was just kind of different though, it was like a little grid thing so it was and I haven't played a whole lot of RPGs that sort of use that sort of system though um, like I know there's like a lot of RPGs that sort of like that now but it's pretty much the first one I sort of played um, apart from like maybe playing like you know strategy RPGs for like 5-10 minutes or so um, but I, play, I played a bit there yesterday, it was like probably about like 10-15 minutes of it really. Just like did two battles pretty much, two, three battles and that was it. Um, I think I like it though. It looks, I, I really like that. I like the battle system thus far. And I'm sure it'll be very interesting indeed once I play more of it. Um, next game. 
Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. I have not played this yet, so I can't really say much of it though. But um, I heard that it's not as good as the first one now, um, because there's certain things about it though. But like, I really enjoyed the first game though. It just it was just one of those um, really quite enjoyable games you can play with your friends online or like if you're local or whatever. And I'll probably have the do it the same way with this one here now. Um, so hopefully I can get to play. I know I'll have one person to play with, so I do, who has the game. So hopefully I'll get to play with some other people as well. Because playing with all like four people online is just probably better just playing with someone else. Even though it's still fun at the end of the day. Um, one that probably a lot of people got um, last week was Halo 3 ODST. Um, I don't know really. Just don't know. I play like I, ha I haven't really. I I got it last Tuesday. There only came out in in the post. Um, played it for about forty five minutes to an hour, perhaps in total. Like uh, that's some of the a bit of the campaign and like playing Firefight a bit mis by myself. I don't know. I'm just not feeling it whatsoever, though. I should probably maybe play more of it, maybe. Um, but I don't know. It's probably because I'm just sort of done with Halo, perhaps. I just feel Halo's just sort of past its prime now. Like, it's just pretty much the same game as Halo 3. But, like, it's probably because I just played better shooters now. I've played better FPS games since Halo 3 came out. Like, just shooters um, pretty much in total now. I just feel like, I just don't know. It's just the same game. Just with different tweaks and a bit of a new concept. The way you just play as the rookie, you go around New Mombasa at night, and then you find these like certain things that belong to your the other that belong to your like the other teammates of your other squad mates, and then you go flashback and fight their thing. It's probably a pretty cool concept, and maybe if I do play more, I actually will enjoy it though, because I heard the actual campaign's actually pretty good, even if it's short, but. It should, do, it should be enjoyable nonetheless anyway. Um, Colin McRae Dirt 2. Um, I got this because I really liked the first game. I really enjoyed Dirt when it came out back in 2007. And I just feel, in my opinion, it didn't get the recognition it deserved in some ways. Because it, didn't came, it, it came out not long after Forsha. And I don't think a lot of people probably played Dirt because of that then. Um, I could be wrong. I, I don't know. But I just feel that some people were just so devoted to Forsha and um, that Dirt just pretty much got shoved. It's, even if they're two completely different sort of styles of racing, though, but they're still part of the same racing genre. But it just sort of. It, it, it did get. It scored very well, though. It didn't like, get. Like, the marks like Forza did now, but it still got great marks, and I honestly preferred that game to Forza because Forza was I pretty much just seen what all that sort of game had to offer, and I never actually all I played in that was online pretty much. I barely touched the campaign, but I heard that you had to do endurance races that lasted like 50 laps or whatever, and um, on the same thing, and to me that would just been boring as hell to do. Especially when the fact is that you've been racing for like maybe an hour, and then all of a sudden you could put you could be leading the entire race or somewhat, or do something so well you're doing like you're doing pretty consistent, and then you just cock up on a turn or something, and it's like the last lap or like one of the last laps, cock it up, and you just say, there you go, I just wasted an hour and I screwed up, now I have to do all that again. That to me is just not fun at all, and that to me was just been too much for me to do anyway and I just don't think that would have been not fun at all though and I'm sure for I don't know if Forza 3 will have them I'm sure some people wish some people probably did enjoy the endurance races while other people just hope the hell they do not have them um, I never played it though I never played much as I said I never played much of the campaign I played a good bit of the I played like a lot of good bit of online with friends and that when it came out 
And it's a good game, now, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed it for what it was, but I just preferred Dirt because it was just a more accessible racer to me and it was just a lot of fun. The career mode was just very fun to do, so it was, and just really loved the way it worked though, even though the online was stupid, it was just an online time trail thingy though, point to voice, it was just it was really an online per se anyway. Um, I'm rambling on again. Dirt 2 is different because of the fact is, as you know, Colin McRae has um, passed on, so he has, um, but they still have the sort of name titled, and it's, it has the Rally X, Rally Cross series now, it's just like more dirt road stuff, so it is, and, but it still has the, some of the old sort of stuff that was in the previous game, like the point to point, the old like rally point to point style races, but on and out there's completely new. Stay tuned for part two.